Hi, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be telling you the story of when Darth Vader met and killed his clone. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can't fit together. So anyway, let's begin. In Zero ABY, a few months after the Battle of Yavin, Darth Vader went to Dantooine in search of Luke Skywalker, the Force-sensitive rebel who destroyed the Death Star. Vader specifically went to the ruins of the old Jedi Enclave, which has been abandoned for thousands of years since the time of Darth Revan. He believed that Skywalker, a Force sensitive without a teacher, might search the Enclave for Jedi knowledge still hidden at the site. The Enclave was known to the local citizens as the place where all who enter never return. When Vader went there, he was accompanied with a squad of stormtroopers. He was ambushed by security turrets and all of his squad was killed. Vader was injured during this visit, and some of his blood was left in the floor. Unknown to him, the abandoned Jedi Enclave housed an unmanned cloning facility from ancient times when the Jedi Order did research on cloning. When Vader left the planet, the experimental cloning droids who ran the facility cleaned up his blood with which they used it to create a clone of him. They used a mysterious technique with which the clone grew rapidly and also was imprinted with Vader's personality. However, as with the other clones from the facility, this process was faulty and left the clone with only partial mental functioning and personality synchronization. The other clones from the facility suffer the same defects, rendering them violent, causing them to attack nearby settlements. The clone was in Vader's physical state when he fought against Count Dooku at the Battle of Coruscant and defeated him. Even though he did not require armor, due to the fact that he was undamaged as Vader was, he wore a costume accurately reflecting Vader's, but without a suit's actual functionality. The costume was created with scrap parts lying around the nearby abandoned rebel base, and the clone also had a red-bladed lightsaber. However, like the armor, it was merely an imitation, producing a fake blade that simply passed through objects without inflicting any damage much like a flashlight lightsaber that many of us owned at one point. Darth Vader would eventually return to the Enclave for reasons unknown, which was 11 months after the Battle of Yavin. When he met his clone, he immediately turned his lightsaber on, showing no mercy, he cut him down. After that, he thought about the degenerate nature of cloning, as well as how it was a mocking of the Force. Later after that, the cloning facility, aka the abandoned Jedi Enclave, would be abandoned for the last time after the clones and the droids were wiped out for good. Anyway guys, this is it on the video, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars videos will be in the description below. And also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for even more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rather scum. This party's over.